In this short video, I'm going to show you how to download USGS discharge data in Excel. To be able to do that, you need to go to the website that I have on the screen. Also, there is a link in the comment section to this website, and I'm going to show you how to navigate the website and how to download data directly in Excel. Once you're in the website, you can see some general information about United States Geological Survey water data for the nation website. There are different ways that you can retrieve or download the data. What I'm going to use is the map. So there is a map of all the available sites and stations that you can uh, pick the site or the station that you are interested in. So click on the map and then you will see the map of US. All right, so I'm going to zoom in uh, the Twin Cities area, Minneapolis, St. Paul. You can zoom in and find any station in any other area that you want to. I am, let's say that I'm interested in this station over here. This is Mississippi River, and this is a gauging station, stream gauging station in St. Paul, Minnesota. So if you click on this, you can see the site number or the station number, which is at the Mississippi River at St. Paul, and then it's a stream. The agency responsible for that gauge is USGS. And then there is a link to access the data. When you click, when you click on the link, you will be directed to that specific gauging station or gauging site. Uh, there are basic information and description about that station. Also, availability of data is over here and the dates that the data are available. Let's say that I am interested in daily data and I want to figure out or find the value of discharge in cubic feet per second, right? So I'm gonna click on daily data and I am, uh, this is basically the station. You can see a short video of the station and the picture of the station. Now, the available data, I am, when you scroll down, you can see that the data, available data over here and there are different options for you to graph or create a table for the data. What I wanna do is, first of all, to create a graph from the starting date of, let's say I am interested from October 1st, 2020. So I'm gonna change this to October 1st. Notice that the type of, uh, so you have year and then month and then day. And then the end date, I am going to select 2021, September 30th. Perfect. Now, if I click go, this would be the hydrograph of the stream flow over time from October 2020th to uh, end of September 2021. Okay. Now, you can generate a tab separated table based on this graph. So if I click on the tab separated and then click go, this is created over here, right? But the problem with this is that when you copy and paste this data into Excel, um, the format, you need to change the format, right? So we want to figure out an easier way so we can avoid copy and paste. You might ask, why is it so difficult? Okay, let's try it. So I'm going to, uh, press Control A to select all the data over here, and then press Control C to copy the data, and I'm going to paste the data into this Excel sheet that I have. So although the data is pasted over here, but when you click over here, you will see that the entire row is, is in one cell, right? So if I make this cell larger, you will see that all data is in the first column, right? This is something that we don't want to. There, there are different ways to fix this, but I'm going to show you another alternative way of downloading the data. Okay, so let's go back to this web page. Once we are here, we are going to copy the URL of this web page. So I'm going to copy the URL of this page and then go back to Excel. This is a new sheet, sheet number two. Under the data tab, you can download the data directly from that website. So if I click on from web, it's going to ask you what is the URL. So since I've already copied that, I'm going to paste it over here and then click OK. After a couple of seconds, you can see that the data is over here. However, the format of the data is not what we want to. 
So there are a couple of things that you need to do. First of all, you need to change the delimiter to custom. Once you do that, when you scroll down, you can see that now your data is separated much better, right? We don't need all these rows all the way up to here, right? Those are good information that you need to read, but in order to import them in Excel, we don't need them. All right, so let's transform the data to a version that we like. So I'm clicking on the transform the data. First of all, let's see, from row number one all the way to row number 31 is the type of information that we are not interested in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on remove rows and then remove top rows. It's going to ask you how many top rows do you want to remove. It was from 1 to 31, right? So I'm going to remove 31 rows and click OK. Now you can see that the agency number, the site number, date and time, and eventually this is the value of your uh, discharge over here. Okay, so this is that this is something that I want to. Now I want to make this first row the header, right? So if you click on this use first row as header, you'll see that it moves up. Now your first row is the header as well. Okay. Let's do a couple of more things. This row number one, also it's something that we don't want to, just uh, just an indicator. So I'm going to remove that. So it would be only one row. It is removed right now, and then I'm going to change the name of this header. I'm going to right-click on it and then rename. I'm going to change it to discharge, and the units for that would be cubic feet per second or CFS. Perfect. Okay. Now your data is almost ready. The only thing that you need to change is the type of the data. So if I click on this cell, for example, you can see that the data type is text, right? But we know that this is not a text, this is a date. So what you need to do is to select the header of the column and then change the type of the data into date. Now, automatically, it's going to change the data into a date. Similarly, over here, if I click on any of these um, data, you can see that it's also text. So I'm going to convert that to a number. There are no decimal digits after decimal points, so these are whole numbers. So I'm going to select over here. Um, you can select a whole number or a decimal number. In this case, I'm going to select a whole number. Similarly, for the site number, I'm going to do the same thing. A whole number, perfect. So now when you um, done editing as you want to, you can select close and load. And after a couple of seconds, you will see that your data is loaded into Excel for that period that you have selected. So we don't want these filters. Do you see these filter buttons over here? You can select this first row and then under table design, uncheck filter button. There we go. They go away. Okay. And the last thing that you want to do, of course, we want to visualize this data to see how they look like. So I'm going to select the headers and select the data like this and go to insert tab and create a beautiful line chart out of it so your x-axis right now is time and your y-axis is discharge in cubic feet per second you can obviously change the type of chart as you wish okay so this was a short tutorial on how to use the uh, import from a web feature of excel to import these types of uh, discharge data from USGS website.